Hey everyone, James Hurst with The Marketing Show, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically reply to an email using the uh, workflows in high level, okay? High level is an awesome automating software. You can get my link for a 30-day free trial down in the description below with my bonuses. Let's jump right into it though. So have you ever seen someone on Facebook say, you know, comment this uh, below this post if you wanna get the, the lead magnet or you wanna get the training, right? So this is a similar idea, but it's for email. So I'm thinking, you know, if I send out a thousand emails, and no one really responds and no, and some people mark them as spam or they unsubscribe. It's just not a good look, right? But what if I said, uh, hey, reply back to this email with a certain keyword and I'll send you that training, right? So now the email deliverability platform sees emails going out, replies going back in. And so that that next time when you have something to sell or the next time you want to email them, I, I would think there's a higher chance of that thing getting to the inbox because you've got this two-way communication established, right? That's just a theory. I think other people also believe the same thing. So I'm going to show you how to pull this off right now. Okay. So I, what I did was I made this video. You should check it out. It's on the YouTube channel, recover lost sales using high level abandoned cart automations. Right? So what I did was I went ahead and grabbed the transcript out of here. Okay. So I grabbed the transcript, scroll to the bottom. It used to be right there where I was trying to go show transcript and I would grab all that text out of there. And I would put it into chat GPT and say, hey, summarize this. Let's tweak this. I would paste it in right here. Let, help me generate an email that's going to get people to, to click on it, to want to go and watch this video or whatever action you want them to take, right? So I'm going to head over to high level now. And this is send the bait email for abandoned cart. Okay. So this is the one that's going to try to get them to respond. So. I don't have a trigger because I'm going to dump them in there manually. And then I'm going to hit email. And this is the email that I sent. Hey, new training just dropped, James. Uh, hey, James, this is the marketing sheet. Why should you tune in? Whatever you want to write here, right? Reply to this email with abandoned cart and I'll send it right over. So I don't even give them the training. I'm really just trying to get them to respond, okay? And then I actually start waiting three days. And um, if they do get, if they do click on the training and they do respond, then I'm going to uh, add a little tag there that they did get the abandoned cart training. And if they did get it, then I don't, then that's what I wanted to do. If they don't, then I can follow up with them again and try to get them to do it again. Okay. You can repeat that as much as you wanted, but for the sake of example, that should do. So how, now that I send this email out, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and send one out real quick. So that should have sent the email. And then let's go ahead and pull that email up. So it's right here. So there it is. I just came through zero minutes ago. Hey, da, 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 first name variable, right? There you go. Well, I better respond, abandon cart. Abandon cart. Now you could actually look for a certain keyword to fire this off of. You could have different keywords do this, or you can just like, generally speaking, if they replied to this email or this workflow, any reply to this workflow will be enough. And we'll, I'll show you how that works. Okay. So I'm going to hit send right now. So I said, Hey, I want that. I want that abandoned cart. Now I'm establishing that two way relationship of communication. Okay. Then let's go ahead and cruise back over here and see where we're at. So now let's take a look at the other one. This one says deliver the abandoned cart training. Okay. Now let's go ahead and come over here and look at this. So the trigger is customer replied. So the customer replied trigger replied to workflow is the filter. And then I got to pick which one of the workflows it was. And it was the one we were just working on send bait for an abandoned cart. Okay. So I hit, hit save on that. And if they, so if they have replied to that email and I should in fact see myself in here, right? So there I am right there. I'm waiting for time. So I'm actually going to sit there and wait for one minute. I don't want it to be immediate. I kind of want it to make it, maybe make it feel like I replied back to them myself, you know, kind of getting back to them. Right? So I'm going to add a tag. Uh, and that's the same tag we're, that we're going to reference on the other one to see if we want to send a reminder, a follow-up. So if they did reply, we're going to add that tag, wait a minute, right? And then we're going to send the actual email. 
Here you are, contact first name. Click on the image below to go to the training on YouTube. That's just a, that's just a image and a link. There's the video and that should take us right here. Okay. So there's that. Okay. And then let's go ahead and see, cancel that. Um, and that's really it. So then if I come over here, I should hopefully be having that email come through. And then as far as how do I kick this off? Well, I can kick this off manually. I can go over here, right? And I can go to my contacts. Let me see if I have a blur. I can see if I can turn on the blur setting. Privacy mode, okay. And now I'm gonna go to contacts, right? And I got that blur setting from a marketer's toolkit, just so you guys know, uh, from Tom Bristol. Anyway, so I come here, I select all my contacts, select 637, 367 records, and I'm gonna put them into this campaign, which was send bay email for abandoned cart, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna go send bait email for abandoned cart. I'll say hi for my action, add to campaign, okay? Now I already did this and here we go. Here's the example that come through. Here's the training. So it's just come back to me a minute later and there is the email, right? And there's the link, um, etc. Okay, so that's that. Check this out now. So we dump them into that workflow. What does it look like? What does it look like when they act when that actually gets sent? Okay. Let's see. Let's see here. Let me uh, see if I can find somebody. So new training just dropped test, right? And then three days later, February. So February 1st, it went out three days later. Last call. Hey, did you miss that free training? Reply back with abandoned cart, right? Did you miss the free training? Did you miss the free training? Right? Gary, thank you. You can see the little two icon right there. That's the reply. So he replies abandoned cart and then I deliver the training. All right. So hopefully that gives you guys a bunch of ideas on how you could deliver lead magnets, increase your deliverability. Um, if you guys like that kind of content, consider subscribing. I love kind of automating business processes. Check out a bunch of the other YouTube videos as well that I have. If you're interested in a free trial of high level, get in touch with me. Uh, also have a service that talks about helping you with one-on-one -on -one help with live Zoom support. Uh, that's ghlbountyhunters.com. You can take a look at that. So that is here, uh, Bounty Hunters. And with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed that video and we will see you next time here on The Marketing Show. Take care. If you're already on the 297 plan of high level and you know you've been wanting to upgrade to the SaaS Mode Pro plan to take advantage of automated sub-account creation and two to 10X markup on your SMS rebilling, then I've got a special offer for you that I'd like to help you transition and coach you through that upgrade process, including migrating your existing sub-accounts to the SaaS Mode plan. They're letting me offer you an exclusive discount as well. Let's talk about what you're gonna get from high level on their side of things, and then we'll talk about my bonuses that come at no extra cost to you. So on the high level side of things, you're gonna get automated sub-account creation, automated user provisioning, the SaaS configurator, split testing, agent reporting, the two to 10X markup we discussed, the Eliza booking bot, and finally the big one, advanced API access to connect to hundreds of other softwares with Zapier, Make, or Pabli. I'm on the 497 plan myself. I've coached many other agencies through this upgrade process. I've helped hundreds, if not thousands of agencies with the GHL Bounty Hunters, as well as my YouTube channel. Now, here's what you're gonna get from me on my side of things. You're gonna get a smarter review requests snapshot, which helps you get more automated five-star reviews. You're gonna get the appointment reminder snapshot. You're gonna get the support portal snapshot for taking those support requests. SMS chat booking bot, a private Facebook group, as well as a private members area with SaaS specific trainings also comes with a massive onboarding checklist, right? Here's the store where I sell these snapshots, you would be getting them for free. And here's the back end of the SaaS Pro trainings, okay? You're also gonna get the high level local hero playbook. All of this is at no extra cost to you for upgrading with me today. If you have any more questions, feel free to book a call at the link below, or you can just click here and upgrade right now.
Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.